thought in the UFC, and I got to tell you, I don't know if I've been contacted more times to make a video than I have over Usada in the UFC, but there was a tone within the text messages or a tone within the direct messages in my inbox where I would be happy about this because I don't like Usada. And I'm not too sure where that tone came from. There is times that Usada makes a mistake from a PR perspective. And I like to tease them and give them a hard time. To, to make believe I don't believe I don't like Usada is simply not true. You have to have clean sport. And Usada is very good, particularly reputationally, of coming in and helping to make that happen. They're not an absolute, right? You got your you got your testing, you got your cheaters, and it's a back and forth battle. And the testers don't know what test to improve or how to do it until the cheaters go first. So the cheaters are always a step ahead. Staying a step ahead is very hard. USADA's got great science. They're very proactive. They're on top of things. I have cautioned USADA a number of times. Stop speaking. Stop. You are do not need to be heard. And it's, it's a piece that they never understood and they've never agreed with me. I'm sharing with them as best as I knew how from the time they came in. It's not how we do it here. I don't know what they do with the Olympic athletes that gets funded by the United States Senate. I always thought that they were a public company. Turns out they're a private company. They just got commissioned to do our Olympic athletes. All right, fine. But either way, it's, it's very relevant. When I told them, stop speaking, stop coming out and talking about the athletes, the organization, to rule, stop. When I told them to do that, it came from a perspective of fully understanding MMA and our officials. By example, we don't have referees that do interviews. We don't have referees that make statements. We don't have judges that do interviews. We don't have judges that make statements. It's very important keeping up with the culture of our industry that you do your job that you're not seen and that you're not heard. You're just doing it because it's the right thing to do. And that was always tough with them. And they came up with a policy. We will not speak about you unless you speak first. And I, I still to this day don't understand why they would think that they ever need to speak, why they ever think that they would ever need to clear something up. And all that they were doing is creating hard feelings and moreover, because they would make statements, they wouldn't do interviews, right? It's, it's a very slippery slope if you want to be in something that's public and you want to be heard. There's ways to do it. And statements that come out that are not encompassed with follow-up questions in the form of an interview, you're just, it's a bad look. It's a bad look. So then all of a sudden, they, they, they start trying to do this PR campaign. They're giving out these t-shirts and jackets. The problem with that, the problem with that is, as I told you earlier, the cheater is always one step ahead. The cheater will always be a step ahead. USADA openly admits this. And so then they come in and get it. And you can't, it's, it's one of the reasons that you'll, you'll see Olympic athletes 20 years later have their medals stripped away because their samples are still out there. Science has gotten better. USADA goes back and tests them. We got a lot of Olympic athletes that are sitting there real puckered up right now, hoping that USADA doesn't go back and test them. But I share this with you to try to make a point. USADA's out there 25 times tested t-shirts, 25 times tested with these jackets that no one would ever wear. They're just, they're ridiculous looking. But they're standing there with a cheater. Like we know in the industry who's breaking the rules. We all know as an industry, we just don't start pointing fingers. We quietly ask questions of how'd you do it? Where'd you get it? So when Usada's standing there, this guy's beating him 25 times to the point that they're giving him a jacket and flashing around the world, and we're all sitting back looking and going, that guy's been beating you. That guy's been beating your tests. Now, not only are you admitting you couldn't catch him, you're showing them around the world, rubbing it into the industry of guys that are actually following the rule. It's just something they never understood. They never got this concept. So then 